Hello, thanks for joining us again. In this video, we're going to continue taking a look at the new improvements and revamp we have undertaken within Vertex BD for version 29. In this video, we're going to look at the IFC pipe utility system. Here, we have imported a pipe IFC into our model. We select the panel they are intersecting and set 3D limits as required so it's easier to see when working with this individual panel. Within the components section, you have a variety of different types of ducts for IFC flow segment purposes. Here we will demonstrate this round one first. When you move the duct near to the pipe, the software automatically finds the center line of the pipe. Let's add one here. If we require another, you can press the Alt key and you can add another in a different location as displayed. You can also change the tolerances as required per your project. Now let's take a look at a rectangular one. Again, same as before, we can hover over the pipes and the duct will automatically find the center line. Let's place it here and with the rectangular one, we have grip handle points where we can resize the duct as shown. Now that's completed, you can see the ducting holes for our pipe work are correctly placed in relation to our pipe IFC. Another technique we can utilize within the software to add ducting holes with IFC pipes is to select the required pipes. Please note these have to be IFC flow segment type. And then once selected, right click and choose the add function to structure option. We then select the structure we are adding the piping through and then the software will display the pipe and hole properties for our selection. From here, you can add in the required diameters for each pipe manually and can add in custom tolerances. Once we select OK, as you can see, the holes for our piping are correctly placed as per our changes. These can be seen within the model and also within the panel drawings as shown. If you should require to remove the holes, simply within the modeling tab, visit the pipe dropdown and from within here, click the remove utility holes option, which then will remove them as required. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for our next.